With us, let's continue informing you about the latest developments from the motherland Africa. Beginning with climate change, as climate change continues to ravage the country with hundreds of livestock and wildlife dying of hunger and lack of water, a farmer in Voi has moved to mitigate the situation for both his livestock and wildlife by sinking a number of boreholes around his farm, which are now quenching thirst to innocent wildlife and livestock. Hezron Kimari has that story from Voi. The biting drought in some places like Voi has brought about coexistence between people, livestock and wildlife. One livestock farmer in Voi sank 12 boreholes around his farm, making it the only well in the arid region. Because these are related to climate change incidences and we've seen um, rainfall patterns are changing. We have um, long, uh, long dry seasons and also maybe uh, erratic rains. So basically what we are proposing uh, is uh, we need to do rainwater harvesting, especially through uh, using water pans or even uh, using dams in some of the places and also maybe basically uh, drilling boreholes to make sure that we have enough water for wildlife. Kwa sababu miaka iliyopita tulikuwa kwa tukisumbuana na na mifugo na na wanyama wa porini kwa sababu ya maji na all along tulikuwa kwa tukipoteza manyumba zikivunjwa na undovu so mwaka huu tukiwa na kikao chetu cha directors wakaamua kwamba wacha tumalize hii tatizo ya wildlife human wildlife conflict tuchimbe poholes zingine ambazo wanyama watakuwa wanakunywa na mifugo yetu itakunywa so mwaka huu tumechimba we have now a total of 12 boreholes According to director of Izera Ranch Kariuki Wambugu the current drought situation has left severe effects on human beings livestock and wildlife especially due to lack of water forcing him to invest heavily on solar powered boreholes and we are experiencing one of the major droughts for a long time I've experienced several droughts from 1984 2004 2009 and this seem to be quite a remarkable one. And as you, everybody knows who keeps animals, it has affected all livestock farmers, including wildlife. Maji haya mwanzoni tulikuwa tunatumia generator na diesel driven generators. Lakini mwaka hii tukakuta gharama ya kutumia hiyo mafuta diesel inaendelea kupanda zaidi. So tuliondoa zote zile tulikuwa tunatumia generator tuka replace na solar powered nini water pans. The stakeholders are now asking the developed countries through the COP26 agreement to fund some of the mitigation measures currently undertaken by African countries. Impact ya climate change ni kubwa sana na inaitaji resources. Nazidi kusistiza ya kuwa kulingana na yale magizu walitua juzi kwa COP26. Hizi countries ambazo zimeendelea sana. Ziweze kutisaidia Kenya ikiwa moja wa ile county, amba, countries ambazo nafa kusaidiwa. Ili tupate resources za kutosha kufanya hizo mitigations za climate change. I think all of us, uh, the individuals, the local people, should get into a serious practical, accountable afforestation program. Nonetheless, the climate change has shown there can be coexistence between human beings and wildlife. Hezron Kimari, KTN News, Taita Taveta.